Springs, Florida. I'm asking you to step away from my car. Can I step, step away, away from my car? Your Officer Carpentier is angry. What? Why do I have to back up? Because I'm asking you to back up. Is it our car or is it your car? It's not yours. It's not yours. So I don't pay taxes? You act like I don't pay taxes. You don't think I live in Palm Springs? How dare you discriminate and think I don't live in Palm Springs? File a lawsuit. File a lawsuit. Man, you guys are some nice cops over here, huh? Car number 212, car number 213, Palm Springs PD. Dude, are you okay? This incident, recorded by Palm Beach Free Press, underscores the fundamental misunderstanding many police have about constitutional rights. The clash began when the police pulled over that driver for a traffic violation. As the concerned citizens filming this know, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled repeatedly that recording and filming law enforcement officers is protected under the Constitution's First Amendment. Police can ask you to stop, but they cannot force it. Also, citizens can film anything in a police cruiser that can be seen from the outside. The burden to create privacy, like protecting a computer screen, is on the officer. One of the concerned citizens walks closer. The federal courts have held you can get as close as 10 feet. Back up. Stop, he says. I told you to stop. What do I do? All right, we are good. The officer cannot handle talking to a driver and being filmed at the same time, so he gives up, and he is frustrated. Step away from my car. Or else? Step away from my car. I'm asking you to step away from my car. And I stepped step away, away so from you my car. In your vehicle. Back up. Or else what? Why do I have to back up? Because I'm asking you to back up. Is it our car or is it your car? It's not yours. It's not yours. So I don't pay taxes? The police then step away. The driver of the truck was fine and said he had been pulled over for a license plate issue. Moments later, the concerned citizen spotted the same police heading into the nearby convenience store. 212 and 213, is that right? All right, cool. You guys are back. You must have got thirsty. Oh, he's going to go solution. You're going to solicit a trespass, you dirty little cop. Criticizing or calling a cop names is also protected speech. He's got his laptop open again. Back at one of the Damn police cruisers, don't learn. the officers <laughs> still have not learned. The police laptop is wide open, and the screen can be read by anybody standing outside the vehicle looking in. So... The other one was a field training officer, so this one's in training because the other one's a field training officer? I've always heard it. I've never seen it. Now I witnessed it. Yeah. To be fair, there is no requirement that police not be assholes. Their job is to enforce the law, protect and serve the community, and uphold the Constitution. As long as they do all of that, they do not have to be angels. But it's the part about upholding the Constitution that seems to make many cops angry and bring out their inner tyrants. These particular police officers, when confronted by two people with cameras, could have said hello and kept doing their thing with the driver they pulled over. But instead, the officers got flustered and upset. And then, at the convenience store, they were rude. That approach is not the sort of thing that builds community trust. All of us, including police, are entitled to have a bad day and not be particularly joyful or happy. But police are the ones with the badge, the taser, the handcuffs, and a weapon. And as we've seen repeatedly, police who also bring a chip on their shoulder are ignorant and have a short fuse. Those cops can be dangerous. The only thing that has proven to keep most police in check now is a camera. Remember, all of us have a right to film and record police, whether they are talking to us or interacting with somebody else.